sat in front of like a group of people and instead of like kowtowing and, and giving him like the opportunity to sort of, you know, leave, I started reciting that monologue from my cousin Vinny where he walks into the bar and he sees the guy in the uh, arm sling. And I just like literally started reciting it to the point that the guy said, this is happening right now. And everybody was laughing at him. And I remember turning it into an opportunity to take the weapon out of his hands and make it my own. Really? And I became very popular in school because of my comedy. And I was class president. And, I, and, and so people wouldn't with me because they knew and I was blessed in this sense that I had not everybody does but I had enough I had enough opportunities to um, call upon uh, my own sense of, um, of of you know comedy to, to basically call them out on their show. and where I get beyond angry is when I see people taking on people who are in a situation where they don't have a choice. When you feel the need to bully a child who is autistic and half deaf, you, like you, you are the loser. So I hate seeing it. And I think a lot of that is parenting and, you know, if my child ever does anything like that, that's it. Like, we lay down the law in my house. But, like, there have been instances where I've watched my own kid get bullied. And it's painful. It's really painful. And you, it's, it's an honest conversation that you have to have, especially if you're a father or a mother, where you sit down and, and you, you, you let them know that it's on the other person. Which isn't just, it's not just words, right? It really is the truth. It's like, if somebody feels the need to come up to you and call you weird, or call you whatever name, because they, they don't like themselves. 